Welcome to Outdoor Cookery. Today we're going to talk about Dutch ovens. Now for a lot of people getting started in Dutch oven cooking can be pretty expensive. Um, 12 inch Lodge Dutch ovens around 60 or 70 dollars these days and that's that's a lot of money for some folks or some people wanting to get started in Dutch oven cooking that just don't want to invest that kind of money just to see if it's something they would enjoy doing. So we were at Walmart the other day and we noticed that Walmart now has their own brand of Dutch ovens. And it's a um, five quart Dutch oven and the price was only $18. So I naturally had to pick one up just to kind of see what, what it is. Um, so we're going to talk about that today. We're going to take a look at this product and see what, what's good about it and some things that maybe aren't quite so good and uh, see if it's a good alternative for those people that want to get started or maybe just for some folks that just want to have a second Dutch oven or a third or fourth um, for their Dutch oven cooking. So it, it's a kind of a, uh, a real budget item, but um, it is cast iron and it'll cook. So let's take a look at it. Well, let's unbox this thing and take a look. One of the things you'll notice right away is the packaging is not as heavy duty as you might get from uh, Lodge or one of those kind of companies. So it's uh, you want to you want to inspect your oven really carefully before you get out of the store with it to make sure that there's no problems. I have seen instances where the feet on the oven were punched through the bottom because the box had been dropped. Um, obviously, you don't want to take a oven home that's like that. Okay, so here we have it. It's a five quart Dutch oven. This is actually not what you normally expect out of what you think is a 12 inch Dutch oven. Uh, a standard 12 inch Dutch oven is going to be six quarts. This one is five. Um, it's not truly 12 inches. It's actually going to run, I think it was around 11 and 9 sixteenths. It's a little bit smaller, just a tiny bit. Not a big deal. Um, you can actually fit a nine inch pie plate in it. If you're wanting to bake pies and even with gloves on you can reach in and take it out no problem so it will work quite well for that a couple of things I want to point out though that uh, are a little bit on the downside nothing that are deal breakers for me uh, but it um, it's got a couple of things that um, well are part, probably part of the reason it's only $18 first thing uh, pretty decent casting I did have one casting flaw on a leg right here. I don't know if we can see it in the camera. I can take a close-up for it maybe for the final video, but this uh, Didn't have that one casting flaw other than that. It's uh, pretty clean casting. The edges have been nicely uh, deburred and radiused uh, I didn't find any other problems. The finish is a little sandblasty kind of rough But it's uh, a good casting overall the lid is nice and flat, which is actually a plus you always want to check a new oven before you leave the store with it when you buy new ovens. doesn't matter what brand it is to make sure that the lid is nice and flat. This one is good. One problem though with the bale, you notice it has this nice spring that's supposed to keep your hand cool when you pick it up, which would be awesome if the spring was actually still attached to the bale. Now, none of my other Dutch ovens have this uh, spring on it, and I intend to remove this one anyway. I like to uh, hang some of my ovens sometimes from a tripod and this would just get in the way. So I'm going to remove this, grind off the uh, remnants of the welds and um, it'll be fine. I'm sure if I took this back to Walmart they would happily exchange it or refund me or whatever I wanted to do. But in this case I, I'm just going to want to get rid of the spring anyway. Even if the spring wasn't broken loose I probably would get rid of it. The bale is nice heavy material, it's chrome plated so it's not going to rust. That's, that's good. I, I've actually purchased some ovens that uh, had some pretty anemic bales on them that I uh, had to make new bales for actually replace. But this one's, this one's good and heavy duty. So other than uh, the spring and that one little casting flaw, the, it's actually a pretty nicely made oven. So another way that they were able to bring the price down a little bit is by making the loop handle on the top a separate piece from the lid. You'll notice that there's two screws that actually hold the loop on. Well that uh, 
that substantially simplified the construction of the mold for making the lid and, and that brought the price down. So for $18, you have a, a cast iron Dutch oven, it's pre-seasoned. It, uh, it's fairly nicely made. It will certainly uh, cook a meal and it, it's definitely worth the money. Now, I, um, I'm not saying we should all go out and start buying all our Dutch ovens at Walmart, but uh, for those folks that need to stay within a budget but want to get started in Dutch oven cooking, or for those that just want to add a few extra ovens to their collection so they can cook more food, this is absolutely a bargain at $18. The uh, quality of the casting, the quality um, certainly befitting the price. It is made in China. But it, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of other Dutch ovens that are made in China these days. And so they're, they're you know, in good company in that regard. But it, um, definitely going to do a good job cooking. So we're, we'll, we'll fire up some coals and we'll try it out. But I think it's actually going to be a, a good pot. So there you have it. Thanks for watching Outdoor Cookery. Uh, we hope to be bringing you a lot more videos on other aspects of outdoor cooking, both Dutch oven cooking and grilling and barbecuing. So look for more videos, like and share, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.